not playing Alfred every time. No. But you also play one of the vampires in Nightmare Solo. Yeah. Um, do you think it's a good diversity to change between the roles? Role yeah, or? definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yes, because um, I think for a first job, it's very good to have that different things. Um, of course, I, play, uh, I love playing out there. It's very special. Also, you're basically all the time on stage, so you have a lot of time to play. Uh, but also, there are some days that you may not be as good and as high with energy, so maybe you need to step back a bit. And I think having an ensemble track where you have like this short breaks to do your makeup kind of thing, I don't know, it also gives you the time to stop yourself do your makeup, think for a bit and go like, okay, next song, next, yeah. I can do it. And yeah, the nightmare is the, it's just for that, the Carpet Nocturne song, it's just mm -hmm. like that variation. I usually do my whole track exactly the same, and if I have to play the nightmare, I only change to that song. So the rest is quite, but it's good, it's good to have something new mm -hmm. to the brain in. Yeah. And which thing is your favorite and why? Mm. <laughs> What scene is my favorite to play in or to watch? That's your favorite one. Okay. okay. To watch, uh, my favorite scene has always been uh, Castle Spyhide mm -hmm. from the beginning till the end, yeah. till the end of uh, Give It. Uh, I think it's a brilliant number because mm -hmm. it starts with a love duet that is not really a love duet because they're yeah. not thinking about the same. It goes into this uh, up tempo song that goes into a brilliant dance. Our dances are amazing in the show also. Uh, yes, exactly. Well, that's already the end. But you get the dance. <coughs> Sorry. And then you get the prayer, which is like such a big number with the lights at the end and the choir and everything. Yeah, I think it's um, such a big, big number that it, of course, is my favorite. Uh -huh. And then I think uh, to play, of course, I like the whole show. I think there are not many scenes I don't like. Uh, but I think my favorite, favorite uh, part lately is uh, Nostalgia's Fight Hunter Please. Yeah, because it's so liberating. You, it, it, you go from in the sh whole show being like worried or annoyed, and mm -hmm. you're like, no, what this and that. And for once, you can like literally just open your arms and go like, yes, I made it. So yeah. that's, yeah, I think that's my favorite scene. No, I think, no, I know that's my favorite scene. Okay, the house is fire, I think it goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And do you still have stage fright? Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. I think I have stage fright uh, even in my own language. But mm -hmm. of course, in German, like, I always just before the follow, because Alfred has to talk so much at the yeah. beginning that I am literally the overture starts and I'm already like going like. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I have to go through text and I think that, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's getting better because I remember the first time I did it and I turned around to go like professor and I saw that, that big theatre, I was like, what am I doing here, how am I, why do I do this to myself? In German. Yeah, but yeah, it's getting much better, now I know I can do it, I know I enjoy it. But of course, I still get a bit scared. So hopefully, that will become less and less with time. Hopefully, and yeah, okay. I do get it. And did you already forget? I forgot to check. No, 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 I never did. Or any other embarrassing moment on stage? Um, no, I don't think. Uh, I mean, not that I can think of right now. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I think I go through text so much in my head. Mm -hmm that I can't really forget it. But of course, sometimes, because I'm not used to speaking the language, maybe some words don't come out exactly the pronunciation how it would be. So maybe someone in the audience will go like, what did he just say? But I don't think, no, I, I, well, embarrassing. It's not even that embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember one of my first shows, I really wasn't comfortable with the role yet. Mm -hmm. And I did because we were talking about that scene before, Russian is fighting at the reprise. I did it still with the wig from Tansal. Okay. And I remember like when Sarah falls on my knee and I start singing to her and I realized, oh, there's so much weight on my head. I've got a wig on. 
and it was so so embarrassing because it's meant to be free and it's meant to be even uh, a bit handsome in that play mm -hmm. because it's like the the love story finally worked out for him even if it was not really a love story and i remember wearing that wig i was like you ruined everything but yeah it's not even that bad yeah and now the last question um when you think about your future yeah um, what are your plans for your team uh, my plans? Uh, I don't know. I just, um, I think my plans are just to keep on working on this and keep on trying, keep on auditioning. I just don't know where. I mean, I'd love to be able to stay in Germany because, as I said before, I really like the culture you guys have with musical theatre. And yeah, my, those are my plans, so yeah. to go on, but I wouldn't care to do musical theatre or just straight theatre, I mean, straight plays. Um, or if I would just like to do TV, I really don't care, as long as mm -hmm. I can act and I can perform, that's, that's all I really want. And I don't know, a dream role, I think Alfred was <laughs> such a big dream role that I already achieved one of them. Uh, but I guess anything that's a bit of the same line of characters. Mm -hmm. Of course, I love the role in, in Phantom of the Opera, I love Marius in Le Mis, yeah. Yeah. all those <laughs> kind of uh, roles. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. I, I, I can't think right now, but any role that is kind of like that, that is kind of like the sweet guy, but also <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of acting, a bit of um, fire to it. I don't know. Okay, yeah. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you. Muchas gracias por la entrevista. Muchas gracias. Um, das war jetzt das Interview. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Ihr könnt ja dem Video einen Daumen nach oben geben, wenn es euch gefallen hat. Und ihr könnt ja auch mal in die Kommentare schreiben, ob ihr ihn schon gesehen habt als Alfred oder auf dem Ja. Yeah. Tschüss. Bye.